Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Notgrinder. Today's story is about two breaches that share a common theme. This week, there's a couple stories that came out talking about network security incidents that both end up having a common theme. The first is a story about an alleged compromise against the Israel Energy Authority. At the beginning, some people kind of described this as some sort of breach on the Israeli Energy Authority power grid. But the truth is, this wasn't actually any sort of targeted attack on the power grid. Rather, the Israel Energy Authority got infected with ransomware and they had to shut down a number of computers in their network because of ransomware. It turns out this ransomware started by some employee falling for a phishing email and of course interacting with that email and getting infected. Now this goes to show you that while there's certainly going to be some attacks where uh, advanced attackers target things like infrastructure, you also need to worry about just normal everyday attacks that uh, still affect the same infrastructure uh, computers and could result in some pretty serious repercussions. In any case, they seem to have taken care of the ransomware that was a result of this phishing attack. Now, the second incident has to do with a pretty costly heist that affected a Austrian aerospace manufacturer. This manufacturer provides parts to both Boeing and Airbus. According to their blog, they had some sort of unspecified uh, heist where attackers were able to transfer $55 million from their account and steal that money. Now, they really don't share a whole lot of detail about how this happened. However, there's a number of security organizations that seem to assume that it was probably a spear phishing attack. Lately, there are many phishing attacks that are targeting HR organizations or accountants at a very specific company, and they're finding the specific people that are responsible for doing wire transfers and other things, and they use very customized phishing attacks to try to get them to do these sorts of huge account transfers. So what do these two incidents have in common? Well, obviously, if it's true, they both started with phishing. You might remember one of my predictions for this year is social engineering will be one of the biggest threats in 2016. And I point out it's largely due to spear phishing. Attackers are getting much better at actually customizing very specific spear phishing emails to very targeted people in our organizations. Again, HR and accounting are, are some of the big targets, as well as C-levels in organizations. So if you can learn anything from these sorts of breaches, it's that you need to educate your users about phishing and I'd even concentrate your your awareness and education on people that are accountants or HR and make sure people understand that it's not just run-of-the-mill phishing anymore it's not just very easy to identify emails with bad links nowadays these attackers might send you very targeted emails that seem to have to do with your job role so you need to be relatively skeptical of these emails and validate the senders before interacting with them in any case very interesting stories if you want to learn more check out the reference link. But that's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.